John Moxley went on Chris Jericho's podcast and basically said that you know you got all these. Uh, young- I knew I knew that, but I didn't I didn't hear the podcast. I'm sorry. So I'll go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, he uh, yeah he basically just said he thought Vince was out of touch. He didn't you know understand his crowd anymore, and that he thought it was time for Vince to to step down as the head of creative. I didn't know if you had any thoughts on on the strong comments he had made about Vince. Well, um, you know, in all honesty, Nick, I haven't been there enough to even comment on that. But I, uh, I think that Vince leaves a lot of the creative up to other people now. It's my understanding. Yeah. And uh, where at one time you could say he was in total control of creative, I don't think that's the case anymore. And I think that they... Um, I see that they're moving people in in and out and around now. Yeah. Um, I think they're trying to figure out exactly what's going on. And um, this is one of the times in in this business when they um, are looking for the guy. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. I mean, okay, the guy meaning uh, Hulk Hogan. I'm going to WAB. The guy being Roddy Piper. The guy being... Uh, uh, Shawn Michaels, the guy being Hunter, the guy being Undertaker, the guy being The Rock, the guy being Stone Cold. I mean, and uh, I think that Roman was going to be that guy. And then, of course, the illness set him back. I think he still can be, but it's hard. They have some great talent there, great wrestlers, but they're having a hard time figuring out in my estimation you know who the guy is and it's not because they're not talented it's just you know they're getting i think cross they're getting mixed very mixed feelings and mixed emotions from different people and um you have to have been a wrestler for a long time to see that but you can watch the show if you watch it weekly like which i really i still enjoy watching um Mostly because my daughter, you know, I would like to see what the girls are doing on Raw now. Uh, I always watch SmackDown to see what she's doing. But um, it's um, they they usually come out of WrestleMania with uh, three or four really good uh, angles or, uh, you know, things to run with. And they literally came out of WrestleMania this year and they came out for the first time in a long time, I think, pretty flat. So it's just hard. You know, Ronda went away, Brock went away, um, and and then they, you know, you're, you're, you got to move forward. And um, I just think it's, um, they had a tremendous WrestleMania, made a statement with the women and all that, and I think the women proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that they deserved that spot in the main event, and then they pulled it off. Even at going in the ring at 12 o'clock plus at night, they still had a phenomenal match. The fans stayed to watch it. Um, but the next day, they needed to come up with something as big. And uh, I just think that um, it, it's, hard to, it's hard to do that every year. 